Hello everyone, Taylor here. Today we're going to be talking about white spacing. So let's get into it. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to the link in the description and download the code snippet there and then paste it here into our IDE. So this is a little program that I wrote and you'll notice that it doesn't look very neat. It's pretty, uh, it's all bunched up together. It's kind of messy, a little bit hard to understand. And this is the type of thing that seems to scare people away from programming. But the white spacing concept that we're going to talk about today is very helpful in creating code readability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some white spacing in certain parts of my code and explain why, why I did that, why I chose to do that. Okay, so first off is the header. Now the header information, you'll learn more about that later, but essentially we want to put spacing between that and every other part of our program. Then we have our main function, okay? And usually I like to put the variable declarations at the top of the program, which is a pretty common practice um, and probably something that you should get used to because it's not great practice to declare them later in the program unless there are special circumstances. Uh, but generally we put them at the top of the program. And so there are a couple ways you can space this. Um, I tend to put them directly under the main, just one line down. But if you so desire, you can also put a space between that and all, between main and all your variable declarations. Then you want to keep all your variables together, um, generally, and then put a space between that and the rest of your code. And so what are we doing here? Basically, we're bunching up relevant pieces of code and separating them from everything else. So, for example, if I had this code about apples and I wanted to do the same thing but with bananas then I wouldn't want to put it directly under here because you know that would that could become confusing if we're talking about bananas so uh, what I would do is I'd put another space and then I'd write you know that whole code snippet because those would be relevant pieces of code bananas with the bananas and apples with the apples um, but speaking of this exact chunk of code we could actually put spaces between this if we wanted to. Now, the reason I say that is because generally when we have this output statement, we're going to have some other calculations here or just some other code. And you'd want that kind of bunched up and separated from the statements to look a little bit cleaner. But here where there's only three lines and there are fairly relevant pieces of code, then you would just keep it together um, because this is a very small program. And then you want to put this return statement separated from everything else in your program. And we'll talk about more about why the return statement is important in a later video. But essentially, that's why we do it. We make the code readable because code is very collaborative. And so um, if you want other people to read your code, or even if you want to read it yourself, it just makes it easier if you've got everything grouped correctly and spaced out. Because this looks a lot nicer than what we originally had. Okay, now a couple other spacing tips and tricks. Um, first off, the spacing between the int here and our and the name of the variable, that is required. Because if we put it together, it doesn't know what command is going on. And so that spacing is required. Most of this spacing isn't technically required because the compiler looks over any white space, pretty much. And and doesn't like read it as anything. And so the only thing that's really separating most of the code is just these semicolons. And that's why those are important. Um, but, but we put the spacing in to make it look nicer and more easily readable. All right, now with any operators, for example, the plus, the equals, or the two carats, we always put a one space um, before and after that to make it cleaner, right? And then, we don't put any spaces between the semicolon and the last piece of code on a line. The semicolon just gets thrown on. And then you'll notice that everything is indented here inside of this main function. Um, it's all indented one line. And we'll talk more about that when we talk about if-then statements, uh, loops, and functions, about why that kind of hierarchy is important, because that's kind of what you're doing. You're creating like a hierarchy like this is the most important and it, it contains all of this code. So that's white spacing for you, just real brief. Um, hope you enjoyed and keep your code clean. See you next time.